we begin this epic tale with King Agamemnon and all the Greeks hyping them up to go take Troy. But one Greek city, Thebes, decides not to, and it's like, no. King Agamemnon doesn't like that, though, and destroys them. How unfortunate they died. So he's like, onward to Troy! So he and his Greek army make camp on the beach of Troy. And a few nights later, a priest shows up saying that King Agamemnon took his daughter back in the battle of Thebes. And King Agamemnon is like, you fool, why would I ever give back a prisoner? So the priest le- leaves in sadness. That night, however, the priest prays to the god Apollo and wishes for his daughter back. King, uh, King uh, no, Apollo hears his pleas and shoots arrows of sickness into the Greek camp. A bunch of Greek soldiers die. The Greek warrior Achilles sees this and calls a, gr- and calls a meeting. At the meeting, he s- calls out King Agamemnon, saying that he shouldn't have took in, taken the priest's daughter and he's angered the gods. King Agamemnon doesn't like this and says that he'll put Achilles in his place. Achilles is angered by his statement, saying he would never follow someone like Agamemnon into a battle. Agamemnon was furious, but he did know that something had to be done to appease the gods. So he ordered a boat to take the girl back to her father. But he decided to take Achilles' girl. Achilles' pride was so hurt that he decided not to take part in the battle the next day. The next day, the Trojans came out of their gates to fight the Greeks. The best warrior the Trojans had was Prince Hector, the brother of Paris. Now, per- Hector was brave and noble, but Paris loved fine clothes and parties and stuff. On the way to the battle, Hector told Paris that he- it was all his fault because he was the one who had stolen Queen Helen. It was his fault that everyone was going to die and that he should have never been born. Paris was ashamed by this, so he promised that he would fight the strongest Greek warrior in single combat to prevent others being killed. On the Greek side, King Menelaus, who hated Paris more than any other man alive, volunteered to kill him with his special spear. Paris did not like this and promptly ran away.